Good day folks, I hope you are doing well. The other day I was looking up Hellblade 2, and wow, what a technical and graphical achievement. Aside from the visuals and the graphics, what blew me away was the realistic motion capture, not only the walking, running and combat, cause that's probably a given at this point, but also intricate facial features down to the eyes and the mouth. And this got me thinking, is there a way you can do this with motion capture in your own projects? Apparently there are a ton of services that can capture your motion and movement even without a bodysuit. There are AI powered services out there that can help you do all sorts of motion capture, whether it be upper body or lower body, in addition to facial expressions, data and so on. But one drawback is that most of them are fairly inaccurate and require a ton of cleaning. That's why in today's video, I want to present to you guys a great application called Animotive, which is the sponsor of this video. And as far as I can tell, it's good enough for games and entertainment, as the software has an XSense suit support. Animotive was used with studios such as Armchair and Rocket, who developed a series for BBC Bite Size. And with Animotive, they managed to capture 10 3-minute episodes in just 2 days. And if you have a scene or you need a complete software that can shoot a digital scene with digital characters and props with a digital environment and mocap and all those data to export to other engines, then you are in luck because Animotive can do that and more. So in a nutshell, this is an animation production pipeline that allows basically anyone to animate 3D characters with VR mocap. The catch here is VR, so this is specifically for people who have a VR headset, but it doesn't matter which kind, Oculus, Vive, Index, Quest, you name it. You can check the hardware support section of the website for the full list of supported devices and how to set up each one. The headset will be used to drive the animation, that's why I think anyone can do it. Animotive is like the whole studio, because you can import your sets and characters, set up lights, cameras, and really set up and direct your scene exactly how you want. You can even invite multiple people to work on the same scene simultaneously. So you can be the actor driving the animation, and your friend might act as a director. You'll be able to control the camera and everything in the scene, as well as making sure that framing and everything is working correctly, similar to a real set. You can add a dozen people to the same scene and communicate inside the scene directly through the integrated voice chat. And for people who don't have a VR headset, you can still follow and contribute to the action through the desktop director mode. Now, I want to take a look at the software to set up and talk about the features, but at the same time, I don't want to make this boring. So let me first show you what Animotive can do. Animotive can be used in a lot of different ways, like for video games, but you can also use these performances for social media or maybe explain our videos, education, and actually one of the templates I thought about was teaching stuff for kids. Cause the color palette reminds me of that one meme from Johnny S. Papa meme. And this application allows you to use these performances in other 3D software. So you can capture a performance, export the VR mocap data in FBX format, and import it to other engines like Unity or Unreal, and other 3D applications like Blender and Maya. You also have an option to render a video file and export it directly from Animotive. So now you are inside the studio. On the left you can see a shelf with all the assets, tools and options that you're gonna need to set up your scene, as well as recording and exporting controls. You can also spawn in a number of characters, props, lights, etc. You need at least one camera in the scene so you can record your shots. Once you're happy with the scene, you can embody any character by just selecting it and hitting the embody option. Now click record to start recording the movement as well as the video from the point of view of the camera. And a faded reflection of yourself or your character will help you see what you're doing. Now it is as simple as going to export and exporting your video. If you want, you can export the mocap data as an FBX, or you can just export a 1080p video of the performance. Actually, I can't convey how cool it feels to be able to control all these things in real time. But maybe that's just me, because admittedly, I don't use VR headsets that often. Actually, I take that back, because I think there's just something about directing everything through a headset that feels very satisfying. 
I'm not sure I can convey that through the video, so you're gonna just have to take my word for it, or you can try it for yourself for free by following the link down in the description. However, you don't need to do everything through the headset. You can actually switch to desktop mode and adjust your scene from your computer. Actually, I prefer doing that. So set up everything first, and once you jump into the headset, you can start the action. The controls available here are a replica of the ones that you can see inside. Also, I failed to mention that this is the beginning, but I think it goes without saying that you can easily import your own assets, props, and environments into Animotive. Also, a dedicated built-in asset import feature is available on your dashboard and your asset library, which allows you to bring your assets, I mean the ones you will need for your project. Stuff like character rig mapping, hand pose, facial shape keys and expressions, materials and textures, which all can be adjusted through the asset library. Now, I'm gonna shift the focus a little bit to how you can get Animotive, which is actually really not that complicated. You basically need to set up a live link between your PC and the headset, and you are good to go once you install Animotive, considering you have a valid and reliable headset connection that allows you just to jump to VR and start using the app. For MetaQuest users, you will have to install the MetaQuest Link app, and for the rest of the headsets, like the Index, Vive, and Pico, install the Steam VR app. The one I have here is Oculus Quest 2, so I'm gonna install the MetaQuest Link. To do this, go to Devices, add a new device, and follow the instructions to allow the Quest Link. You can do this wirelessly over Wi-Fi, or using just a cable, but I prefer the latter just because I don't wanna trip on anything while using the headset. Alright, now you can set up the download link of the Animotive app, create a free account and log in. Under the project tab, you can create your first project, pick a name and a template or you can leave it as blank and hit create. You can of course create multiple projects and opening the project, you can create a scene and again, you can create multiple scenes for the same project. Hit the open scene and the project will load for a bit which will put you inside your scene. Here you can spawn characters, invite people, and do all sorts of stuff. If you are by yourself, you can direct and perform at the same time. And you can embody one character, start recording, pause, and move to the next character, and start recording all within the same shot. Now, because I know most of you guys are interested in knowing whether this can work with Blender or not, well, it does. The exported motion capture file is an FBX, so you can easily import it into any Blender scene. Once you capture your animation and you are satisfied with it, you can export it as an FBX and import it into Blender. The process is as simple as placing your character exactly where you want it inside the environment. And one of the benefits of using Blender is that you can build your sets much more easily as well as the ability to direct the frame of action way easier than in Animotive. Not to mention that the materials and rendering quality, which comes with Cycles or even EV, is great. And while I think Animotive looks decent, it doesn't of course compare to Cycles. To learn more about the full list of features and what you can do with Animotive, and if you want to try it for free, click the link down in the description. And let me tell you what I think of it. I myself enjoyed my time with it, and although the movement is a bit clunky at times, I think it performed really, really well. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. We call this... Knifisa. Yes. That's what we call it. Knifisa. Just put that in your noggin.